Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley and this is another TS Tech Talks video. On today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to back up your um, Telegram charts on your PC. Actually, the reason why I'm remaking this video is because there are several mistakes. Not actually several mistakes, it's a particular mistake that is very vital. So I need to cover this on today's video, so make sure you don't miss out. And if you are new to this channel, please smash the like button and subscribe. Also share the video with your friends if you can. Now, um, what I didn't show you guys was that once you um, click to start, um, let me open my Telegram. Once you click to start a backing up on your Telegram app, it actually sends a message to your um, Telegram app on the device area. So you are meant to accept that particular message. But for some reason, I didn't show you guys how to do all of those things. This is not Telegram. I made a mistake. So I didn't show you guys how to do all of those things. So what I want to do on today's video is I'm going to open my Telegram, show you guys that the, um, the backup works very well, and also open the other device, log into the other device, and then back up on the other device and show you guys how to back up on the other device. Now, um, waiting for the Telegram to open. It's already open, but it didn't open because it's already on. Now, this is my Telegram app. And if I try to back up the application, if I click on this menu area, go to my settings like usual, go to advanced, and then click on the um, backup area. It should be somewhere around here. Yeah, there you go. This is um, export. So click on the export um, Telegram data, click on that, and now select everything that you want to select. But because um, the data is big, I'm actually going to cancel it. So let me click on backup. So click on export, and the export is going to start. Wait for it. It will display right here. Now you see it has started. The reason why it took time is because there are so many data that it has to compile, and everything will be so much. But I'm going to cancel this out because it's going to consume a lot of space, and it's going to take too much time backing up. So let me cancel it out and then confirm that I want to stop it. Now, um, I can easily open this particular chart and back everything up and show you guys how it works. Click on this area and then click on export chart. Now, I'm going to select only the stickers and photos. That is all I want. And you can actually choose the voice and the video messages if you want, but it's going to be very large. This is just a video tutorial. They actually work the same way. Select everything you want for some reason and then start backing up. So I'm going to leave this to back up. Then once it completes backing up, I'm going to continue this. Okay, it's already complete. It didn't take time. It didn't take much time. So now click on show my data. Now it's going to display your data where it has stored on your device. So this is where it has been stored. And if you notice right here, it says photo. This is actually the photos that were backed up. If you click on this area, you'll be able to see every photo that was sent to the group. It backs up every single damn thing. So they are all here. Now, um, let me go ahead and back out. Now you can notice the name of it right there on the top section. It actually shows the name, including let me click on the pictures area. This is actually the today's backup. If you notice the name, you should also notice the date and time of it. Actually, it only shows only the date. These are my previous backs up right there. But this is the particular one that it did today. Now you can notice today's date is this, right? It is actually um, 30th uh, February. 30th May, sorry. And then this is also 30th May. So it's actually correct. So when you open it, if you want to read the message, all you need to do is to click on these messages and it will be able to open the message on your browser. So you can easily read through this. It's actually very um, clear. Let me zoom in so that you see. It's actually very clear. You can easily read through everything. Then if there is anyone that contains a message, it will, it will prompt you to open that particular message with um, with your telegram app now if you notice everything right here the names of the people that we are sending the message that are all displaying right here but now let me zoom out because it's getting a little bit blur so that is all how to back up but another thing like i said i didn't show you guys on my previous video let me go ahead and show you guys that right now now if you want to back up you know what i'm going to have to connect um, the telegram on this device, you know, initially I connected the telegram on this other device actually So there are all the different um, Phones and different accounts on them. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how this particular one works Now let me click um, I have to log out of this one or instead I can go ahead and add a new account click on add a new account and then I will have to scan 
so it will ask me to scan so it's loading up right there now it has completed loading and i have to scan that particular code now it has scanned and this is the new telegram app so in order to set up a backup in this particular one all you need to do is press this menu icon click on the settings section click on advance and you are still going to notice the same thing that it says backup right now go ahead and click on that and click on export now you notice right there that it says um for security reasons you will be um you'll be able to begin download of your data within 24 hours and all of those stuff. This is because it's actually sent a message to your Telegram app. Now, all you needed to do is to come over to your device or your mobile phone, open your Telegram application right there, and you are going to notice where it has this message that says accept or decline. Now, let me zoom out so that you see it very well. This particular message is actually coming from Telegram. Now, um, Telegram sent you this message because somebody actually wants to start um, downloading your data on their device. So if this is actually you, you are not going to select yes. So you can go ahead and click on allow so that it will allow it. And also, if you notice right here on your Telegram, they also sent the same message on the device. But I will always advise you guys to do it on the mobile device that you use to connect. So all you need to do is to click on allow and wait for it. Now you notice it says accepted, right? So once it has accepted, you are going to wait. Um, it's not going to take up to 24 hours anyway. When I did mine, it didn't take up to 24 hours. And then I started um, downloading the backup. So if you want to download any backup right now, all you just need to do is to do the same thing. Come over to... Um, sorry, this is a private chat. If you want to download a private chat, you have to download everything at once. So you just have to come to settings, the same thing. And then come to advanced and then click on export data and then export so um you notice it just started right it just started right there but initially it's going to show you an error message that it couldn't start the update that is because we didn't actually allow or enable it so if you didn't do this on your own end it's not going to start backing up on your device so you have to do this actually before it starts backing up if not nothing is going to back up on your device so um i actually didn't show you guys this on the previous video so i know it's going to be confusing a lot of people and i just have to make this video as early as i can so i hope this video was helpful to you guys if it was please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more video share the video with your friends so that it could help more people also and see you guys on my next video peace